Hey guys, my name's iMac117, and today I'll be looking at the Battlefield 1 Honest Trailer game. Uh, Honest Game Trailer, sorry. Now, I am planning to get this game, and hopefully this won't, if it has spoilers or anything, well, it's not really a big deal, but like, I, I don't know if it has a campaign or not, but anyway, let, I just want to check this out. So, uh, yeah, so 3, 2, 1, now. The following trailer is rated H for Honest. From the people who brought you massive first-person shooter games, set in practically every historical and modern setting imaginable, comes a game set in the one war they hadn't touched yet, because it was too awful and depressing. Yay? Battlefield 1. Get ready for the savage intensity of Battlefield 1's opening moments as the game shoves you straight into the front lines as soon as you put in the disc, and you brutally die in a variety of predictable ways with no hope of survival, in an experience that perfectly prepares you to get destroyed by everyone else playing online. Shit. Well, at least it's realistic. Prepare your surprised face for Battlefield 1's gut-wrenching campaign mode, a series of short stories told from different perspectives throughout the war, with dark, bittersweet plot lines that treat World War I with actual gravity and respect, and deliver an unusually emotional payload for a mostly multiplayer game about wanton dude murder. With an attention to detail that immerses you in the nightmare of the setting, that's only slightly undercut by your magical radar regenerating health powers and ability to resurrect yourself at will, because at some point this still has to be a video game. After you recover from the gritty, almost realism of the campaign, Get ready to toss all that period accuracy in the dumpster and blow it up, as the terrible, frustrating weaponry of World War I is ignored for a bunch of experimental and prototype firearms that conveniently yeah. take the forms of machine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, grenade and rocket launchers, and everything else you come to expect in an FPS, plus a World War I version of that tiny gun from Men in Black. And DICE makes a bunch of practical gameplay choices, like immortal horses, Vehicles that don't control like garbage. Keeping the spotting system, even though now it's just pointing and shouting at guys like you have finger to rats. And turning chemical weapons into a useful sidearm instead of a horrible war crime that all make for a better video game experience, but probably have actual veterans spinning in their graves. But don't worry, history buffs. You still get to brutally murder people in muddy trenches with a shovel. What? Yay! Sink your teeth into the real meat of the Battlefield series, the online multiplayer, and get ready for a wide variety of modes to suit your playstyle, from classics like Team Deathmatch and Point Capture, to weird pigeon-related modes, to larger-scale conquest maps, where you'll never get to drive the vehicles, and the brand new operations mode, where you'll need to set aside an entire weekend just to finish a single match. In a smorgasbord of game types so wide, You'll have played the game for weeks before you realize you're terrible at it. Yeah. Choose one of four classes and jump into the front lines, then immediately get shot in the face from across the map, and respawn as a different class like that'll help somehow, as you slowly crawl across no man's land to the next objective, only to be immediately one-shot once you get there, until you finally get your hands on a tank, and then just bulldoze everything in your way in a shooter experience that's equal parts awesome and frustrating, but will keep you coming back for more anyway, because someday you're going to be the one who makes it to that flame trooper kit first. Oh, come on, get back here, you asshole! <laughs> so grab your stick grenades, cape, and silly hat, and bayonet charge into the most fun you'll ever have with one of humanity's collective nightmares. Because to be honest, making an epic shooting game is the only way you're going to get anyone under the age of 30 to care about World War One anymore. Starring fresh-faced idealists, grizzled old veterans, wisecracking tricksters, naive sidekicks, one-man murder machines, a henna tattoo lady, a whole bunch of corpses, and physics glitches. <laughs> Your battlefield, KD1. Batty. Wait, what? Wow, what did you guys one? know this game is also the world's most detailed pigeon simulator? Truly a modern masterpiece. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Time to iron your party pants. Welcome to the cookie world. Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. The Warriors blew a 3-1 lead in the finals. I live with my mom. Okay.
Um, I do want to get the game. Uh, it is. Uh, I think it looks more like a funner game on PC to me. I'm not sure about Xbox and PS4, but it looks more like a PC game. That's why I want to get on that. I wouldn't. I don't think I would really play it on Xbox. See, like same with the new Star Wars Battlefront. I think that's more a PC game than an Xbox game. I brought it on Xbox simply because my computer was shit at the time. Now I've got it fully operational. Now it's working properly. You're probably thinking, what do you mean? Because the battery in it wasn't big enough to handle the computer. So they gave us a small battery to just, that didn't work for the computer. So that didn't really make any sense. So we got it, a different one and now it's fully working and it works for all these good games. So, um, yeah, that was weird. But, um, yeah, I, I think Battlefield 1, I'm playing again on computer, plus I want to do the, uh, the I want to play this game so I can do um, videos for YouTube, that's my plan, and then Xbox, I don't know how to do, I know you have to get some sort of thing to make the Xbox connect to your computer, so that's maybe for later, but I do want to get the, uh, get the PC gaming stuff, get that going, and um, uh, what else, what else, what else, I don't know, I'll think of something else. Uh, what was one thing he said that, there was something he said that was very, yeah, like how apparently you just get shot really easily and stuff, that, I hate that type of shit, like, I felt like, like, that's the problem I'm gonna have with this game, I can already tell, like, you start at this side of the map and you're gonna keep running and go in and you're gonna try and kill these people and stuff, and then next minute, bang, you're dead, you have to walk back and you probably won't get, you'll probably get one kill and then die, and then, you know, that, I, I don't like that. But, I mean, sometimes you get lucky. I mean, Star Battlefront, when I do Walker Assault, I get lucky, I get a few kills, and then I leave and move on. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.